Mike, we're in July, but it's not too early to start talking college football. When, when Phil Steele comes out with his magazine, this is like a must-read if there you're into you college go. sports. It's very thick, uh, and he's got Penn State in there. Penn State's ranked 18. Are you surprised by that ranking? No, no, I think that's, that's about what I would have expected. I mean, I, mean, I, I think that, uh, you know, Penn State has been pretty good for a while now. Since the 05 season, they really have been, have been one of the top programs in the country. They've been, they've been averaging double-figure wins per season. Uh, it's going to be tough for them to get there this year because of their schedule. One of the, one of the things that Mr. Steele had in there was that their, their schedule is tough this year. Three opponents, what, BCS last year? Three opponents that won BCS bowl games <laughs> last year. That's the first time that has ever happened. And, and they're all on the road, <laughs> and they all have tons coming back. They're all going to be among the top. I'm talking about Alabama, uh, Ohio State, and Iowa are all going to be among the top teams in the country. Alabama's week two at Alabama. At, at Alabama. That's going to be interesting. Looking That's, forward to that one. It's a road trip for you, isn't it? Hopefully. Yeah, absolutely. Knock on wood. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the rankings in there as far as players, no All-Americans, correct? Penn State had no all and, and the reason why we're talking about Phil, I mean, there's lots of these magazines. You go to a bookstore, you see a dozen of these magazines. But this guy really has a track record. Really, really, I mean, to the point of insanity, this guy does his homework, which is why his book is kind of must-reading for people who cover this sport. And mm-hmm. It's almost like 120 media guides, really. And, right, and, and so, so that's why, it just whenever that comes and I look at it for the first time of the year, it's kind of like, okay, now we're starting to think about this sport again. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, no All-Americans for Penn State, um, and only a couple kids, first-team big, All-Big Ten, um, so, so you know, on paper, I, I think there's a lot of there's a lot of up in the air about Penn State season. Quickly, I want to ask you: the guys that did make the Big Ten, Wisniewski, uh, Stefan Wisniewski, I almost said Leo, his uh, uncle, I guess uncle. that is. Uh, yeah, he is uh, Stefan, who is actually changing positions this year That's from true. center to guard. He was originally a guard, switched it's back. Third like time, yeah. Man. So, I mean, and the other one is Evan Royster, the tailback, okay. who uh, is probably going to become. Penn State's all-time leading rusher, which is, if you think about the history of Penn State football, that covers a little ground. You think about it, one, he had to play Anthony Morelli, I think, a little bit in there, too, as his oh, quarterback. Sure, yeah. So mm-hmm. uh, his runs were interesting. But Franco Harris, Lionel Mitchell, I mean, there was DJ Dozier. Kijana Carter, Blair, Kurt Warner. Kurt Warner. Yeah, some, I mean, on and on and fantastic on. Fantastic running back. That's a great. And what, one quick thing, uh, Zug. From Mannheim. The Zugginator, our own uh, Mannheim Central Grand Zone. Zug. He was fourth team all Big Ten, according to Phil Steele, so take that to the bank. He reminds me of Greg Garrity when he played there. Remember Garrity? Yeah, oh, yeah, just, that's a good call. Greg Garrity, Scott Fitzke, good some possession of those guys. type yeah. receiver. Garrity's better than Fitzke, actually, because Fitzke, Fitzke was probably a little faster than Graham is, but yeah. And Zug might be, might be better than all moments all of a sudden. Though. There you go. We're good. We got a lot in there. Got some names.